So we've played, m m like majority of the team has played these before. Obviously I was in different colours and a few of the other girls were in different colours last time we played them. But we know what leads are about and um, as much as we'll have our own game plan, um, I think when you play Leeds, they have such a strong game plan in these high pressured uh, games that you've got to, as much as you've got your own game plan, you've got to react to, to what's in front of you and what game plan they play. Um, so I think the, the team and the individuals that we've got in the squad are a lot more composed and um, a lot more experienced in these in these games. So yeah, it's just about reading the game and uh, and not always thinking that your game plan can happen from minute one to minute 79. So. Yeah, we're, it's really good, um, really good, really good in camp. Um, we're really enthusiastic about it. Um, so yeah, we're just building the momentum to Sunday. Thank you for joining us and uh, congratulations uh, on York City Knights making it through to the semi-finals of the Challenge Cup. Uh, how's the, the campaign been thus far? Yeah, it's been brilliant. Um, obviously building on from from the games, um, the opening games, um, they've been massive for us. So yeah, we're just building on to, to the stronger contests now. Yeah, the, the victories have been pretty comprehensive, haven't they? Um, I mean, the yeah, question, yeah. a question has to be asked, I mean, how do you maintain that drive week after week like you have done in the Challenge Cup through the group stages and the quarterfinals as well? Um, I think it's just about focusing on us as much as you've got to focus on the opposition. Um, it's just focusing on each individual skill set. And I think if, if you tick the box individually and, and things come together on the field, then no matter who's in front of you, you've just hopefully it's a success. And, and for you personally as well, uh, we should say you're, you're new to the York City Knights this season, obviously signing from Cass uh, during, during the close season. Uh, how, how have you settled in? Yeah, I've loved it. Absolutely love it. Um, the, the professional environment, um, the girls, the coaching staff, um, it's, it's, it's definitely up a level for me. Um, to be honest with you, it's one of the strongest club settings that, I, that I've been in. Um, but yeah, so it's definitely reflected on the field. We're seeing that more and more, aren't we, in the Women's Super League, not just York City Knights, the setup Leeds have got is, is pretty impressive. St. Ellen's, of course. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it feels like the, the game's improving year on year, it has to be said. Yeah, it's definitely, there's definitely um, momentum and um, the clubs, um, the Super League affiliated clubs and obviously the York um, City Knights as well are, um, are building on the back of that. So it's definitely, it's happening throughout. There's more teams. Um, Featherston Rovers have got a really strong, um, the great media coverage this year. They've got a really strong coaching staff that's coming this year. So each team, if we, each year, sorry, if we just uh, build another team into the, the professional environment, then um, yeah, it's only going to get better. So, Challenge Cup this weekend, uh, it's the, the yep. small matter of the Leeds Rhinos. Um, uh, and uh, it feels like, I, I was just speaking to Amy at the, at the Leeds Rhinos before this interview, and it feels remarkable that we've got such a big, big game happening, and it's not even May. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you know what's, uh, what's the mood in the dressing room like heading into this uh, semi-final on Sunday? Um, so, we've played... Like majority of the team has played these before. Obviously, I was in different colours, and a few of the other girls were in different colours last time we played them. But we know what leads are about, and um, as much as we'll have our own game plan, um, I think when you play Leeds, they have such a strong game plan in these high pressured uh, games that you've got to, as much as you've got your own game plan, you've got to react to to what's in front of you and what game plan they play. Um, so I think the the team and the individuals that we've got in the squad are a lot more composed and um, a lot more experienced in these in these games. So, yeah, it's just about reading the game and uh, and not always thinking that your game plan can happen from minute one to minute 79. So, yeah, we're, it's really good, um, really good, really good in camp. Um, we're really enthusiastic about it. Um, so, yeah, we're just building the momentum to Sunday. And it's building the momentum for, for the rest of the season as well. Obviously, yes, you know, a, a Challenge Cup final on road isn't anything to be sniffed at, let's be honest. I know, but I know. The, the, the Super League campaign as well. Um, I mean, I mentioned about the, the drive that, that the, the squads obviously had during the group stages of the Challenge Cup and getting through to the knockout rounds and, and the semi final the way you have done. Do you want to see that progress into the league campaign as well? To, to state a really obvious question. Yeah, yeah, well, of course we do. Um, but we're not naive in believing that if we look at the players that are on, they're in the, the teams that are in the Super League, especially with the, the split, 
uh, week in week out we're going to be it we're going to be battling it's going to be it's going to be difficult week in week out whereas there's no disrespect to the teams that we've played but they were lower league teams so we understand that we've got to to nurture the side um, and and that's why these first few games um Lindsay and, and the other coaching staff were able to to show our depth in our squad because when it comes to the Super League that's going to be massive obviously we touched on the Super League season uh, there Tara but we should mention there's a World Cup at the end of this. You've obviously had England experience. Um, you, you, I suppose you and your teammates want a good season to, to stake a claim as well, I'd imagine. Yeah, of course. And, and I think that the Super League, the fact that we've got such a competitive Super League this year will definitely drive the momentum into, into October, November time. So, yeah, and we've got a couple of, um, of games, France, um, that has been announced. So yeah, um, it's great. It's great in camp. We've just this weekend come back from from a couple of days in camp and, and spirit to high. And we're definitely this this time leading into World Cup, we feel more of like a family. Um, we're a lot more closer than than it's been previously. Not that it hasn't been previously, but this just feels special. And I think it is because it's a uh, it's on our own soil. So I think it's uh, really important that that we keep that momentum going. No, great stuff. And what a weekend we've we've got at, at Warrington this weekend because it's yourselves and Leeds, St. Ellen's taking on Fev, um, all live on the BBC, we should say, on their digital platforms. Um, great stadium, great coverage. It's just great, yeah. isn't it, really? Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great event. Um obviously we're we're um kicking off around half two and then they're the later later game. But yeah, it's gonna be it's great for rugby fans, great for women's rugby fans and all, all rugby league fans. It's gonna be a great day. So I, I know that we'll put on we'll all put on a performance.